Do you want to know how many devices are signed into your Apple ID? In this short tutorial, I will show you how to quickly and securely view all the devices connected to your Apple ID. So make sure to watch this video until the very end to understand the tutorial properly. To get started, open up the Settings app on your iPhone and then tap on your name at the very top. So now, at the bottom of the page, you'll be able to see all of the devices signed into your Apple ID. Currently, I only have one device signed into my Apple ID, and it's the iPhone that I'm using right now, but if you have multiple Apple devices signed into your Apple ID, you will be able to see all of those devices right over here. You can tap on any device that you like, and it will show you the details of that specific device, such as its model, version, serial number, and IMEI. If you don't recognize a device or you sold your old device to someone else, you can tap where it says remove from account to simply remove that device from your Apple ID. It is important to remove your Apple ID from your old iPhone before selling it for a few reasons. First, the new owner of the device will not be able to access any of the content that you have previously purchased or downloaded onto the device. This includes music, movies, apps, and books purchased through iTunes or other services. Without removing your Apple ID, the new owner would also have access to all of your personal information stored on the device, such as contacts, photos, and emails. Second, if you don't remove your Apple ID, you may still be billed for any purchases made by the new owner using your account. This could include in-app purchases or subscriptions for services like iCloud storage. Finally, if you keep your Apple ID associated with the old device, it can put you at risk for security breaches since someone else now has access to your account information. By taking a few seconds to remove your Apple ID from an old iPhone before selling it, you can protect yourself and ensure that all of your personal data remains secure. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.